And Rick Kaunan, para naman sa Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Renz Capulong, man in the middle. Warren Bonifacio, Archie Concepcion, Jason Apolonio, and Raymond Benuya. So a different starting lineup, at least compared to the last game para sa Sarangani. And I'm not sure if he's on the bench. I'm talking about Gabby Espinas. I, I think he's serving a suspension. Suspension, there you go. So, Marilao. Nabanggit natin si Paul Sanga. Kung nasan si Coach Jan? Ganun din si Danny Marilao. No, he will start today. Big shoes to fill, obviously. Gabby Espinas, an ex-PBA player, played less than 15 minutes, but had 11 points and 5 boards in their last game. Nung panalo nila, kalapa Marikina. Warren Bonifacio making his debut as well. As Apolonio fires. Too strong. Look at Raymond Benoya. Rebound pa lang yan, ha? Oh. <laughs> Benoya attacks. Could not get the roll. Benuya up against the trees. Nakuha ni Paul Sanga and Skid Jimenez. Starting the offense. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Gotta love the reception here. Sa away team, especially kay Jimenez. Sa unan. That ball tapped away. And I, I, gotta, I gotta speak to, uh, to Kit before the game. Dino ko siya, have you played in this many crowds? Na, ano? Tingin ko, oh. I, I, yeah. Sanay na sanay. Sanay na sanay, sabi niya, Is Ivan Ludovice, baseline J. Ivan na punta kay Paul Sanga, of course, uh, part of that MAM phenomenal team. As Jimenez from the parking lot. Ivan ni Jason Apolonio. Raymond Benuya, 10 points the last time out. Renz Capulo with a double-double, 10 points, 11 boards. Jason Napolonio had 26 in the last game. Lost the ball. Capulo. That ball is tapped away. Napunta kay Marilao. Danny Marilao hit a big three in that game against Marikina. Punta kay Kit Jimenez knocks it down. So, Sedaf, I'm confused. This is Pampanga's home court. But it's Kit Jimenez. It feels like it's Kit Jimenez's home court too. Because he... He gets the first basket of the game. The crowd goes wild. Capulo inside. Turn around shot. Wala. There's a loose ball foul. And it's not like Sarangani is a neighboring city. Malayo sa Pampanga to. But you gotta love yung MPBL action. Nilang sa home team even showing love for the away team. Well... They know their basketball. Right. Christian. They know their basketball. Jimenez pulls the trigger. That's a push from behind. And starting out. Very aggressive. Quickly to apologize is Jimenez is taking the first three shots in this goal. And that's the two minutes. He, 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 he took 25 attempts in, the, right. in, in his second game. Against Rizal. They've been beaten so far, so it's been working for them. Bonifacio. Here's a Polonio. Delegate by Bonifacio, and that is beyond Bonifacio. So we'll turn over for Pampanga. Not a good start for Pampanga. A couple of turnovers. Making a seven minute mark. It's still scoreless. Sana. To Jimenez. Jimenez steps back. Three ball. No. Kauna. Going for that rebound. It will stay with uh, Sarangani. Evander <laughs> Dubise. The ball, Sanga. Corner three. Paul Sanga picking up from where, where he left off against Marikina. This team had 28 attempts, 8 for 28 in their last game. Sa panalo nila. All four possessions, all four three-pointers. Para sa Sarangani and Paul Sanga, how about that? Not really known to be a, a defensive player. He gets a defensive stop, an offensive foul from Pampanga. Mitchell Main has the first change of the game for Coach uh, 
uh, Jordan Gerai. Pressure here. He has almost got the steal. And a piece uh, Sarangani on Bola for Minas and uh, Apolonio actually recruited from La Union. Right. Neighboring uh, neighboring province. Not too far from oh, here. Oh, not too yeah. far. Three to one turnovers. Pampanga has three. Here's Jimenez against Archie Concepcion. Likes the matchup. Hit. Attacks. Out of control there. There's Raymond Benoya. Navasque Apolonio. Swings it over to Archie. Archie with this. Baunan with a rebound. Marilao is ahead. Danny Marilao. He's passing it off. Concepcion. And uh, the ball will stay with um, Tarangani. Well, having a crowd this big can, can work both ways, Christian. Well. Right. Medyo ba pressure ka rin. If you're the home team, you're not it. It's been you know, three and a half minutes and uh, they have yet to score here. But mostly to me, it's an advantage. As you see, those size 13, 14 shoes left on the line. Because every time you're not playing well, sometimes one play can spark the whole crowd and can get you going. It's just a matter of time para sa Pampanga. Let's go to Mika. Now, Pampanga coach Jordan Viray said during practice they focus on their lapses in terms of offense. They will try to focus on passing the ball more, communication, and being alert. Now, for their defense, they prepared three kinds of defenses against Kid Jimenez. They know how shifty he can get. Pero sa nakikita natin ngayon, let's see if this works. Sadel, so coach Chris. Thank you so much, Mika. And Marilao misses on that short stab, and Ivano Davise on the second serving, 8 to 2. It's kanina si Binuya ang nakabantay kay Jimenez. Ngayon si Archie Concepcion na. But here's Pampanga. After getting on the board to Jason Apolonio, they have the ball now. Minus against Marilao. Minus inside. That's a home offensive foul. Yeah. It's a good call by the officials being on top of the play. You can see it right here. If you try to do it nice and clearly. Pressure again from Pampanga. Um, Jimenez. Jimenez with a dipsy do. Gonna get it to go. Gets his own miss. Hit. Fires. No. Apolonia with a rebound. And Davise gives up the foul. Uh, giving us a bit of a breather. Which every person needs in this gym. <laughs> Medyo mainit. Basta nakamask ka. Medyo mainit siya ha. <laughs> last week malamig siya eh. Ah, talaga? Oo, oh, malamig siya last week. Archie Concepcion. Concepcion, minte sa kanyang tres. Napunta ka kay Kauna ng rebound. Uh, both teams really struggling to shoot the basketball. Ludovice. Gonna get it to go. Bonifacio. Apolonio, uh, attacking. Nice. Oh. Ball just going away from Mitchell Minus. A good attention, obviously, the execution. Lang hindi na isa lo. Yung drop pass, libeng libeng na sana sa ilalim. So. Struggle here, halfway. Para sa Pampanga, look at the turnovers. 5 to 2. That has been the story so far. More turnovers and points for Pampanga. Here's Kim. Apolonio nakabantay, getting some separation short on that three ball. Nasa sa ilalim, kaunan, balik kay Ludovice. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Ivan attacks. Binigay kay Marilao sa ilalim, no. Ludovice with another crack. Offensive foul. Offensive yeah. foul. Raymond Benuya just giving up his body there. I think that's Ludovice's second, I believe. Quickly acknowledges it. I like 
like the dynamic of guard. Talk about the off-season acquisition of Sarangani. Donald Gumaro has always been to me a solid backup point guard. Sometimes he would start for Novaliches, I believe. He played Na Navotas. Navotas. Navotas, sorry, Navotas. Also played for Ilo Ilo. Yeah. And uh, Ludovice obviously picked up you know, former BBL champion from Davao. And Kid Jimenez, obviously, that big fish. Now taken away by Gomaro. Donald Gomaro. Pero Mingan is in the game. Pero Mingan, fly by. This, again. Reggie Boy Basibas also in the ball game. Here's Capulong. Out. Kick out. Sanga with a rebound. And I tell you, Christian, it's a, it's a dog fight <laughs> possession right now. Pampanga held to just two points with three minutes and 20 seconds remaining here in the first period. The Giant Lanterns struggling to buy a basket here. And Coach Jordan Virai sues for time. Magbabalik ang MPBL. Inside the Brenzi Gal Convention Center for the second game of our uh, Tuesday doubleheader. Ngayon na po bahala, uh, maganap na pwesto dito. Eh, a lot, eh. lot of people uh, improvising. Ngayon sa doon, tinabihan na yung camera, camera natin. Eh, everyone, uh, hopefully, staying safe. Wearing your masks. Siguro na karon din ng Jack Nicholson seats yun. Oh, dito meron din dito sa tabi natin. Isidro. Binigay kay Kapulong. Eight to shoot. Great defense by Sarangani, but Mahes is there. They cannot complete that defensive. Uh, Stop on uh, Sarangani. So Pampanga on, on the board again. 8 to 4. Nothing scored. Gumaru. Basibas. It's minus. Nadula si minus, but uh, Basibas misses that one. Put some shorts. Put again, get Capulo. Minus. Moving screen. Bristol is going against Pampanga again. Uh, here's a punch screen right here. Ayan, hinabol pa. So in the game for the first time, John John Gabriel. Pinalitan niya si uh, Rick Kaunan. Donald Gumaro, Trixie Perumingan. We go to Gabriel against Capulong. Gabriel. Gumaro. Capulong, great D. Gumaro. Perumingan. And the ball is slipping away from uh, Sarangani. Must be a problem with the court, no? Medyo madulas, and then the ball is madulas. Right. But I thought that was terrific defense by Pampanga, suffocating, keeping the ball one-sided until the cross-court pass. But even after that, not recover in the defense and eventually forcing the turnover to Peromina. Capulo. Yes, Gabriel. Isidro. You know, the handoff. Three ball. Masaka. And Jericho Isidro knocking down the three. Seven to eight. Andoy Estrella. 
silences the crowd. Exactly. That's who Andoy Estrella is. He's always been a silencer, especially if he comes off the bench. Estrella. That's a poor foul. Pampanga already in the penalty. Right. Jericho Isidro. Nailing the three and on the other end. Quick trigger, Galique Ando Estrella. There's too much space for Andoy Estrella. You have to be in his grill, especially if he catches below, catches the ball below the three-point line. Boy, Australia played for Quezon City, also played for San Juan. Right. Now uh, he's found his way to uh, Sarangani with coach John Carlos. In and out on the second. So that backcourt of Quezon City, that first season, Australia and Alday. Gabo. And Gabo. Wow. That was some backcourt. Let's see, Ibas gets it to Gomaro. But Mingan has it. Enrique Gabriel, ball slipping away. Capulo ahead to Capulo. Now it puts shot. Using the left hand. I'm not going against that, are you? Hindi natin kaya yan. 11 to 9. Pero Mingan. Eight seconds to work with. Gabriel, top of the key. Basibas, sa ilalim. Basibas, top shot. Reggie Basibas, making it a four-point lead for Sarangani. And that's what Sarangani needs. What they need to do is to keep this crowd somewhat silent. Solid plays, high percentage shots like that put in the paint. And they force a turnover. Andoy Australia has time. Andoy! Puts it in. Beating the first quarter buzzer, Andoy Estrella. A difficult finish there for Andoy Estrella. Sarangani doing what Manila failed to do last week, which is to, you know, inunahan nila ang crowd dito sa Brent Zigiao Convention Center. Right. Maganda yung simula nila. Paul Sanga with the three. Kitty Menes had one to open up the game. Pasivas had that two. How about Estrella? Six points. He came in. Two, three-minute mark. Talk about instant offense. And they will end the first half up by six. First quarter, rather. Watching the MPBL on 1PH. We're also live on uh, Facebook. And we'll take this opportunity to uh, say hi to uh, Congressman uh, Dong Gonzalez, the team owner. Hey, Kong Dong. Uh, Kong Dong. Uh, Out of the country. Yeah, uh, getting a well deserved uh, holiday after uh, the campaign season. Also, there with him is uh, a team owner, AG Gonzalez. So, magandang gabi po. No, we're missing you here, but uh, of course. Dito rin naman si Governor. Uh, oh, Governor Delta. Oh, Delta Pineda. Dennis Pineda is here in the building. Yes, Raymond Pinoya. We'll drop it off to Lawrence Capulo. The kick out, Jason Apolonio. 
No. Laputo puts it back in. Every time it's a kick out, tulad ng huling nangyari yun. Usually, defender would go help side. As you see, the field goes to first quarter. 6 of 19 sa Sarangani, 4 of 13 plus 6 attempts para sa Pampanga. But they open up the second quarter with the first best possession with the basket. At ang maganda ron, si Kapulong, even after giving up the ball, did not give up on the play. Kahit na tumira yung kasama niya libre si Polonio. Offensive rebound cleanup. Jericho Isidro. Gives it up to Mitchell Minus. Kapulo. Nine bodies with Gabriel and he gets denied. Gomaru. It's on the breaks. Naago ni Apolonio. Jason Apolonio in attack and defense. And he'll go to the line for two free throws. Yeah, and I see what you're saying. Obviously, the ventilation is a big part. Kaya, you know, your floor is a little bit slippery. Oh, but you gotta admire the players just playing it out. And Apolonio right there going strong to the basket. Almost a two plus one play. So, so far, a stronger start compared to that sloppy start with the Pampanga in the first quarter, this is the second. Kim Jimenez is coming up. The three-guard lineup for Sarangani. Estrella, Gumaru, Jimenez, kasama dyan si Casibas. And Gabriel. And Gabriel. Sa kanilang front court. Lawrence Capulong, Pinay nga muna. De La Cruz is in the game. Rush for De La Cruz is uh, Polonio. It's uh, Governor Dennis Pineda in the building. And for two, Jason Apolonio. 15 to 12, ang ating score. Namang ang uh, mga bisita sa Langani. Estrella with a getaway. Too strong on the layup, but again, hindi makompleto ang defensive stop for right. Pampanga. And that was a mental lapse, actually. Sumundot sa backboard na Polonio, I believe, and late help. Now, that's, that's an easy finish, usually, kay Estrella. Fortunate was Pampanga as we head to our timeout. Yao Convention Center in our venue for tonight. We are watching the Marlika Filipinas Basketball League live on 1PH. Dr. Pasasama si Christian Wanzon and Mika Abesamis. Kit Jimenez lets it fly. That short. 15 to 12. Jason Apolonio for Pampanga. Raymond Benuya ngayon. 
go to Jericho Isidro, drives baseline using the left hand. You cannot be happy with your defense if you coach John Carlos. There was no advantage on the drive of Binuya. It was a simple recovery, and yet the defense was broke down in that baseline drive. Good finish, though, nonetheless, as you see. Kit Jimenez trying to force the issue here. He has struggled shooting the basketball, but we're, we'll get to the line with that jumper. But this was the cross court. Right there, a little off angle on the closeout, but a good finish nonetheless by Isidro. Kit Jimenez, nasa linea, the Sanguna free throw. He was at his best taking the ball to the rack last time. Right. Here, he set me for a couple of, for a few outside shots as he missed. Not a couple. Yeah. A lot. A lot, actually. But only in the first half. So let them last game. Struggled also in that first three quarters. At 11, pero ito. Jericho Isidro with his eighth point of the evening. Pampanga now ahead, 17 to 15. The crowd is in it. Benoya attacks. Foul on Kit Jimenez. First foul on Kit Jimenez. Ivan Ludovice with two fouls returning to the ball game. Tama si Paul Sanga, Danny Marilao. Rick Kaunan also set to return. Great action here, especially for Pampanga to start the second quarter. Down by six to start the second. But eight straight points para sa kanila at ang malaking bagay doon. Scoreless pa rin itong uh, Sarangani. Binuya sinks the first. Para kay Raymond Binuya. Kit Jimenez, his team down by three here in the second quarter. Offensive foul. Yeah. The same play that happened to Pampanga against them midway in that first quarter. This time, Sarangani naman ang tinawagan ng bowling screen. Same thing, punch screen right here. Good job, nonetheless, acting job. Uh, emphasized on the uh, Archie Conception. Archie right? Conception yeah. Raymond Benuya. They go to Warren Bonifacio. Nice. Go Bonifacio inside. Nice help there. And I tell you, Papanga has some very athletic players. One of them was Richard Minas there. Ludovice, open three. That won't work. Minas with a rebound. This could be a basket timeout situation. Out of Sasanagani. Bonifacio against Conan. Martin Bonifacio, tough shot. Rebound goes to Ludovice. Again, Danny Marilao, Sumabay and Dalawa players. And had some words with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what a big basket for Sarangani. Dinaan lang sa sipag ng takbo ni Marilao. And anytime you run the lane like that, Danny <laughs> Marilao, that is something new. He, he doesn't usually react that way. Yeah, he can, he can. He can. Medyo madadala na rin ang crowd eh, ito si uh, Danny Marilao. Hindi pa nga mayabang tignan, nakangiti pa. <laughs> Parang joke time eh. Uh, oh. One of the nicest guys in the MPBL. Scrappy in the court. But here's it from the crowd. Here in Pampanga as he misses the three-point play. Raymond Binuya. Binigay kay Minas. Apolonio asking for a great D by Sanga. Right. Minus Gusto Bumawe, inside, oh!
22 to 17. Panga now up by five. Here's Ludovice. Pass to Marilao. Back to Ludovice. They go down low to Marilao. The kick out. Sanga. Libre for three. And Benuya grabs the rebound. Pampanga much more in control here in the second quarter. Right, that's because of the start that they had and better ball movement at the same time. Alam na nila yung pupuntahan nila eh. Walang direksyon yung first quarter. Minus right here, trying to stay hot. Jimenez though gets the miss. Get Jimenez. Lumapit. They go down low to Marilao. Danny Marilao just became public enemy number one. <laughs> Dito sa Brent Yaw Convention Center. Uh, look at this move by Minus. Inararo, kinalabaw, lahat na ginamita pa ng ball break. Kumang time pa. And if you're wondering bakit maingay, inupo na si Danny Marilao kaya natuha yung mga tao. Sosa is in the game. Kapalit ni Danny Marilao. They go to, they go to Capulo. Against Sistosa. Look at Capulo. Just a handful inside. <laughs> big man. Alaba ni Capulo. I mean, Sistosa is a big man. Pero to, big lang. Smart, smart play by Pampanga, which coach, coaches usually do. Ina-attack mo ka agad yung bagong pasok, dahil malamig pa. At lalo na kung meron kang ganyan kapikat, sabi mo nga nakapulong, eh, pupunta siya sa free throws. He can extend this lead to three possessions. Sarangani, already in the penalty. Boy, what a turnaround itong second quarter para sa Pampanga. It really felt like the first quarter, Sarangani was on its way to break the game wide open, lalo na yung pagpasok ni Andoy Estrella. Pero kung ano man ang sinabi no, ng coaching staff nito Pampanga nung uh, bago mag-start yung second quarter, ang ganda ng kanilang panimula. Ay, uh, that's a, this is a 12-point turnaround lamang na ng anim nito Pampanga. Jimenez. Binalik na si Archie Concepcion. Ivan Ludovice. Sanga against Cup. Gets it back. Shot clock winding down. Sanga for three. That won't work. Martano with a rebound. Capulo attacks. Get Jimenez with a rebound. What a big rebound that was. Among the dark shirts by the point guard. Jimenez. Na libre kit Jimenez. Unable to knock it down. Sanga, another try. Wala pa rin. Ludovice saves it to Sistosa. Jimenez recovers. Ivan for three. No! So that's three open looks para sa Sarangani from Jimenez, Sanga, and Ludovice. But no success in that possession. It's not like they were bad shots, but they were all open all shots. All good looks, yeah. Jericho Isidro. Eight points so far in the game, couple of threes. And a drive. Dinalik na ni coach Jordan Viray, who's been um, getting some help from uh, Eric Gascon. Natin, Christian, for uh -oh. safety reasons. I'm offering the floor now.
Three point shooting, two of 15 para sa Sarangani. Two of seven for Pampanga. So that's a lot of misses. 13 missed threes so far here in uh, the second period. Well, both teams obviously taking advantage of this lull by regrouping. And if you're Sarangani, probably Coach John Carlos, maybe encouraging his team as long as you're open to keep taking those shots. At least, you know, compared to mga tatlong panalo nila, it's, it's, a, it's a part of their main weapon, eh, yung, yung, yung three-point um, three line. And at the same time, if you're Pampanga, you still want to be a little deliberate and attack or take advantage on opportunities on the break and keep pounding the ball inside to the ginagawa ni Kapulong at Timang Ines. Mercado, they go down low to Kapulong. So, you see, even after a timeout, able to design the play was Pampanga trying to put a pin down inside Natatangkap. No, just inside the paint, but Sistoso was right there to deny the flash and force the turnover. So, Unan. Here's Ivan, the runner. That's a foul. 9 of 24 for Pampanga. The concern was the defense, especially the wingman that time on that ball screen action. Kailo de Vise. Ayan na libre yung kanang bahagi. At the red red, so si Lo de Vise now the free throws. Vano de Vise. Hits the first. Was the best player for the first two wins of Sarangani. Two for two for Ivan to the V6. Two quick fouls early on. But he's back in the game. Shanakitimon for Sarangani. That's Pampanga Bola. They're, they're up four. 315 remaining here in the first half. Excellent denials on that. Elbow action. It's a Pampanga by Sarangani. Kapulong, that's an air ball, rebounding to Dubise. Ivan. Stosa, no hesitation. That's short, Kapulong with the rebound. Archie Concepcion, uh, Atake, gets blocked by Jimenez. Recovered by Mercado, back out to Isidro. Until the Senegal is Lu Duvise, rather, Ivan Lu Duvise is limping after Madulas, pero dito. Kapulong sa loob. Minama na naman yung kanyang pantay. That's the recipe for success here for Pampanga. Rely on the big man here. Jimenez drops it off to Kaunan, but ball slipping away. And Kaunan. Unfortunate last time was... Pampanga, nobody dropping from the weak side. This is just a good seal and taking advantage of his size. Kapulong, Chinibog ang depensa. Raymond okay, Binuya back in the game. We'll go to Kapulong against his Tosa. Kapulong shooting. Awesome. And at some point, Sedel, help has to be there. No Gabi Espinas with the suspension. Marilao nagpahinga sa bench. Sistosa can't do enough right there. Five versus four. Libre ngayon si Isidro. Too open for him. Traveling. Boy, what a break. Para sa Pampanga. Easy layup na yun para kay Ludovice na hindi na bumaba sa depensa. Pero, extra steps kay uh, Gumaro as he tried to make that outlet pass. Kapit ng uh, kapilang court. Well, Sarangani only with four points here in the second right. quarter, Christian. 
Pampanga with 18. So it's a 14 point turnaround. And see. this is where you miss Gabby Espinas because you have a guy that you can go to on the post and attract the defense and get easier shots. Kanina pa nadudula si mga player. You know, to Kapulong. Bagsak si Gabriel. Offensive foul on Lawrence Kapulong. Take a look at this again. Good job there by... Uh, Gabriel also. I disagree with that call though. Sell the call. Yeah. But the main concern to me right now is your safety. So Lawrence Capulong. I think they're going to do something at halftime. Oh, okay. You can barely hear your squeaks. Sapatos, which usually nangingi babo pag alam mong magaling kapit ng flooring. Especially for Ludovice. Parang mas marami pa yung dulas niya kaysa sa attempts. Gumaro. And it's a problem if you're Sarangani because usually they attack the basket as Gabriel. Hindi sa kanya tres. Another one short there. Benuya. Apolonio. Puts his head down. Romaro with a rebound. Ahead to the Dovise. The Dovise draws the foul on Binuya. They go to the line for two free throws. Able to force a bad shot. Sa Pampanga, ito Saragane. Quickly running on the break. It was this three guard lineup. Sarangani in Jimenez, Gumaro, and Ludovice. Ludovice makes the first, just the fifth point ng Sarangani dito sa ating second quarter. After scoring 15, the first 10 minutes of play. But still hanging around, no? Itong uh, Sarangani. 20 to 27. The whole team, Pampanga Giant Lanterns with a chance to extend this lead. Warren Bonifacio faces up, attacks Gabriel's D. Bonifacio inside. Another foul on Sarangani. Another foul on Gabriel. And that's probably one adjustment defensively that Coach Jalion, John Callios will address off the ball defense on the post. It seems to me na halos lahat ng tanggap nitong uh, Pampanga ay malapit na on the block no, sa basket. They gotta do a better job in the second half to stay in this game of pushing yung mga big guys out no, para maging mas malaya yung tanggap nila kung makatanggap man. Warren Winifasho misses the first. Fresh off a step with Papua. Man with a bright future ahead of him. Kit Jimenez collects the rebound. Kit Jimenez, like Mama Dale in a foot race. Kit with a finish. Cannot be happy if you're Pampanga with that. Off the free throw rebound. How long did that take? Four or five seconds? Kit Jimenez, four to five dribbles to get to the other end. And what, what a finish with the left hand. And that's big. Para sa Sarangani. Especially if Kit can complete this play and uh, they could end this quarter with a stop. 27 to 22. Pampanga going for the last shot of the half. Benuya against Peromingan. Uses the minus pick. Minus pick. Minus for three. Offline. Jimenez with another rebound. Kit almost made that one. First half action here in the hot and slippery 
Renzi Gyal Convention Center. Panga Giant Lanterns, especially their big man, Lawrence Capulong, imposing his will inside and is uh, one of the reasons why they have his five point lead at the break. Well, imposing their will inside was Pampanga as a whole, Capulong being a big chunk of that. Uh, kaya they were able to turn this game around after being down in the first quarter. Ngayon silang lamang papasok ng second half. Uh, top quarter naman for Samangani. Only seven points uh, for them as... Uh, Time here inside the Grandi Giao Convention Center. Ako sa Anapapanga Giant Lanterns are holding on to a 27 to 22 lead against the visiting Sarangani Marlins. Okay, bet. Sarangani actually got off to a strong start, 15 to 9, and end ng ating first quarter. But Jericho Isidro with eight points in the half as etong uh, Pampanga slowly but surely crept their way back in and even and then now taking the lead at the half. Well, we talked about at the top of the coverage, you know, even though coming off a win, 72-70 to Pampanga, who's going to step up off the bench? That two points lang yung last game nila. And a big difference has been Isidro na napangkit mo nga. Eight points off the bench. Team has 14 overall. But this game relatively has been sloppy. To say the least, both teams have a combined of 25 turnovers, have a combined of 25 also of points of turnovers. And I guess a lot has to do with, uh, you know, the slippery floor, the temperature, heated temperature dito sa loob ng, uh, ng, ng gym. The players are tiptoeing, tentative, not really confident in their movement alone, let alone their shots. So you see both teams not really shooting well, 36%. To 25, 36, medyo mababa pa yan. But 25, obviously, worse compared to 36. I thought Sarangani was fortunate that they were just only down by five considering the effort and uh, the way they played, their shot selection in that second quarter turned out. But the turnaround, though, the turnaround, I thought, was that bench, as we mentioned. Let's see if that bench can continue on. So one thing, one stat that is not indicated there has been a three-point shooting. Right. Two of 17 ito Sarangani, which is really you know, affected their, their clip there. Right. It's it's 11%, almost 12% shooting from beyond the arc for Sarangani. At, uh, take a look at their leading scorers. Five each for Andoy Estrella and uh, Ivan Ludovice and Kit Jimenez. Sanga has three. Para naman sa Papanga, Jericho Isidro leading the way with eight. John Capulo, Michelle Mines, and uh, Jason Apolonio only with three points after finishing with 25 the last game. But, you know, we're seeing uh, different looks from Pampanga. Uh, you know, no more yung mga attack to the basket that has the crowd, that gets the crowd going. No. And so far, it's been, you know, very deliberate going to the post, going to Capulo. Right. And, uh, you know, finding the open man in uh, Isidro for those three pointers And to your point, that's where you feel the absence of Agabi Espina. Not only offensively, but also defensively. You know, he's a solid defender. And at the same time, your rotation mo. Okay, about Sarangani. Medyo na disrupts. He's tosa. Not, not really seeing much action before this game. Obviously, Marilao had to, had to go to the bench and rest. You know, and that's where Kopolong really took advantage of uh, Espinas' absence. Yeah, Isidro right there with eight points and we're about to start the third year. So, uh, our uh, maintenance crew here uh, doing double jute, double time, and uh, that's uh, half time. So, we begin the third. Get Jimenez fires. Short. Rebound. We'll stay with uh, Sarangani. So the struggle continues shooting wise. 
for Sarangani and Jimenez. But I like the first play of how he got that shot. That's the first time, maybe the second, that he got it off the ball, off of two screens. And Instead of him starting to uh, create his own shot. So Tomika Abisamis for an update. Hi, Medyo may issue daw itong Sarangani sa flooring. It's a little slippery for them. And since they are a running team, nahihirapan daw sila mag-adjust. In terms of the fans, sinabi ni Coach John Calio sa boys, huwag kayo ma-intimidate. Dapat ma-excite kayo because this is the MPBL. Sedel, Coach Chris. Thank you, Mika. Great uh, reminder there from uh, Coach John Calios on uh, why, you know, you should relish these opportunities para magpakita, especially with a lot of with a lot of people watching. And sometimes, even though it's truth, yes, madulas, but you can't use that as an excuse of not to. Perform why? Because yung kabilang team din naman, the home team, ganun din ang nangyayari sa kanila. No? And as much as we want, obviously, obviously, yung concern ng lahat is yung safety ng mga, ng mga players, but it has to continue on yung, yung laro dito, and they're gonna have to play through it. So, unan missing both foul shots. The score stays at 27 22. Concepcion thought about it. Dinuya, babake kapulo against Kaunan. They double. And a miscue here for Pampanga. Jimenez to Sanga for the deuce. So then, sorry about that. So there's the adjustment. No? Tumobli na kagad sila. Nang hindi pa nagdi-dribble. Itong si Kapulo. And they force a turnover. And it ignites a fast break. Yung importante nga sa Sarangani, no? as uh, Coach John Callas mentioned, in the running game, nila. as Basibas making the adjustment underneath a couple of baskets here for Sarangani puts them within one. Again, off a stop. They didn't look to set. They found that was a good look from Paul Sanga. Dahil alam ni Basibas ititira was right there to clean up the offensive board. That's a foul. So, on and on the help. This is a two-on-one break. Get Jimenez making the right decision. Contested shot on Sanga. Pasibas with a cleanup. Until minus. Hitting the first free throw. Minus had 14 points in that win against Manila. Got eight points now. Six rebounds. Ludovice attacks. Kauna and is fouled by Binuya. And Ivan Ludovice controls the game. Re good things really happen right. for Sarangani. Right. That's why your defense starts in the backcourt. And the action happened in the in the half court where he got a little brush screen and was able to get Yung buelo na tinatawag, no? And uh, was able to pass the ball to Kouna para sa dalawang free throw. Ang pinis ang palitan ng tao, nag-adjust ka agad si Coach Jordan. Daniel Gomez is in the ball game for the first time. Medyo uminga yung crowd nung pumasok si uh, Gomez. First time? Yeah, first, first time. First action yeah. in this ball game. So obviously not liking yung uh, anilang defensive start. Pero uh, he'll... Uh, down by a basket. Actually, Kaunan has missed three free throws here in the third. Turnover. Minus step on the line. <laughs> Gomez with the task of uh, making life difficult para kay Bando Duvise as Archie Concepcion goes back to the Pampanga bench. Malik na sa laro, Jericho Isidro. Had eight points in the first half. Kaunan against Capulo. Goes baseline. Binigay kay Basibas. Baseline jumper. Short. Ibani Warren Bonifacio. Gomez. Looking for a teammate. Binigay kay Capulo. Isidro now. Minus asking for it. Isidro. 
Taken away by Saragani. Jimenez is away. Just put it up. A wild shot. Here's Gomez. Drops it off to Minas. No call there. Back comes Pampanga. Minas. Runner. Short. Agawan sa rebound. Napunta kay Sanga. Goes to Kit Jimenez. Jimenez attacks. Jimenez scoops it in. Hahanap talaga ng butas itong si Kit Jimenez. Even though he has turned the ball over in the last two possessions, buo pa rin yung loob niya sa atake na yun. Daniel Gomez. Gusto pumunta kay Bonifacio. And the steal is completed. But a foul against Pampanga. Boy, how big has been Basibas in the last two defensive sequences? This was the attack on the break by Jimenez. For a while there, I thought he was going to pass it back to Paul Sanga, who was behind him for a trailing three. Did a right decision to attack still. And Basibas has done an excellent job of having active hands and forcing turnovers in the last two defensive possessions. Sarangani with a chance to either tie or take the lead on this one. To the visa, nakawala. Ivan drops it off to Basibas. Mintes, kaunan, put back. Wala pa rin. Jimenez recovers. Jimenez offline. Yeah. But Ivan Ludovice is right there. And we have a tied game at 31. Ludovice was wide open. And the other side of the court, a good job of not just standing and waiting for the pass, but going inside and clean that up. Minus for the drive. Papa Sabda si Ivan. Ivan Ludovice. Exhausted here in the third. Ivan Ludovice, nakawala sa defense ni Gomez. Right, caught ball watching was Gomez right there. Donald Gomaro, balik. Okay, ito pasok din kagad si Piduya. Tapas ulit si Gomez. Alejandro Gabriel returns. Andoy, Australia. And a really good first quarter. Binalik na ni Coach John Talios. I'm not sure if he saw action from second. I think he saw brief, briefly yeah. to start in you know, the uh, second quarter. Minus has uh, come alive here in the third. Two for two. Richard Minus. Bapanga regains the lead, 33 to 31. Five and a half minutes remaining into the third quarter. Australia. Binigay kay Gumaru. They go down low to Gabriel against Capulo. Andoy gets it back, fires, and knocks it down. It looks simple, but what a pass by Gabriel. I thought he just dropped the ball, but it was exactly in the pocket of Estrella. Isidro in and out. Jimenez. You know, look inside Gabriel. Easy deuce. The Marlins off and running here in the third, 36 to 33. And true to Mika's report before the start of the third, yan ang inahanap ng Sarangani. Stops, then not waiting for the defense to set up. A double kapulong, the kick out. Minus for three, short. Rebound to Kit Jimenez. Go. Australia, good pass. Back oh. out to Gomaru, too strong on the pass. Was the execution had the right idea. So fortunate was Pampanga as they tried to create momentum. Look at this one right here. Kala mo minaksak lang ang bola. That was the intention of the pass, and it was the right one. And Kid Jimenez, after the stop, beautiful no look. Gabriel making an impact with the assist and the dive down the center lane. Here's Isidro. 
With the fast shot trying to seal Gabriel, there's Binuya with a runner. So Mabitsi, uh, Pitti Menes or Donald Gumaro Dun. I'm so happy it was Coach John Kalios because one of the things you hate as a coach Sidel is when first you foul a jump shooter, second, the defense gets beat on a split. Dahit dalawang tao, yun na iwanan. But Binuya misses the first one though. 36 to 33. Binuya. One for two. 34. Pampanga 36. Sansarangani. Gumaru. Bench points 20 for Pampanga, 14 for Sarangani. Hindi nabigay kay Gabriel. Jimenez cuts, but Gabriel able to recover that loose wall. Actually, yung pasa kay Kitty Menes. Gabriel was just there right. trying to position himself. Right, and I think Australia should do more of that in terms of driving to the side of Kitty Menes. 94 feet pa lang nakadinay na si Isidro start ng, sa start ng third quarter. So that's one of the adjustments, no? Because they've respected, the league has learned to respect yung kapasidad as you see Governor uh, Delta Pineda. So, if you're his teammate, you want to use him knowing na hindi help yung kanyang depensa as Pampanga gets a stop right here. Raymond Binuya attacks the middle. Couldn't get that one to roll. Binuya gusto ng agawin ng bola kay Basibas, but Basibas does well. Australia to Gabriel Aliyup. Kakagirian si Kapulo ngay Gabriel. Beautiful hockey assist by Gumaro, giving up the ball from the backcourt. There were four Pampanga shirts in the backcourt. It became a two-on-one break instantly because of that forward pass. Zone here for Sarangani. Apolonio fires. No good. Ivan Bonifacio. Basibas back the other way. Nakatulog ang Pampanga doon. Right. Sleeping on defense. The third thing that coaches hate is when kakashoot mo lang, masusutan ka kagad sa kabila. Because obviously, the offense inbounds the ball, makes an outlet. It's enough time for the defense to go down, which hindi nangyari sa Pampanga. You could just see, I saw the frustration at that play. Hey, Coach Jordan ng Pampanga. Pero Mingan and Danny Marilao back in the game for Sarangani. Renz Capulo is back as well. Archie Concepcion replaces Jericho Isidro. So Bonifacio, Lorenz Capulo, Renz Capulo, Jason Apolonio, and Archie Concepcion for Papanga. Gumaro, Peromingan, Estrella, Marilao, and Gabriel Naman for Sarangani. Here's Bonifacio, the teardrop. That won't work. Takbo ang Sarangani, Gomaru. Block by Concepcion. A clean denial here from Archie Concepcion. Look at that play, denying the two points para kay Gumaru. Sarangani with possession. Estrella. Binigay kay Marilao. Chopper is good. And that's gonna be available all night for guys like Basibas and Marilao. That could make a difference sa pagkapanalo kung sakali nitong Sarangani. Because hindi i-give up ng Pampanga yung mga kick out sa tulad ni Gumaro, Jimenez, and even si Perumingan. Swing it over to Concepcion. Apolonio in rhythm. Pasoka! They get the steal here. Pampanga. 42-39. Apolonio wants it back. Three ball. Heat check. Para kay Apolonio. Capulong against Gabriel. 
Capulo, inside. Hindi na magkakinigan dito. The Prenzigia Convention Center. Prenz, Lawrence Capulo, inside. Sinukat muna ang depensa ni John John Gabriel. Kahit na dalawang puti pa ang nasa loob, Kapulong patuloy na minamama yung depensa nitong uh, Sarangani tulad ng ginawa niya nung first half. You gotta love this crowd. I tell you, it's an experience. It is. Holding this game. Here at the Brinzi Gya Convention Center, Pari Niagas of Densan watching us. Nangabi sayo as uh, Andoy Australia makes the first free throw. We were 31 teams, the most so far in our four seasons, which means that's 31 different venues, and we've been here since season one. But this is quite the experience. Nakay barito. Oh. Apolonio, open three. Jace Apolonio coming alive in the third. Tabla tayo at 44. Chance of defense. Australia trying to silence the crowd. And Jason Apolonio comes away with it. Capulo. Pampanga wisely. And the offense. Pumasok ang tira ni Archie Concepcion. A foul on Capulong. Kanina pa sila ni Gabriel. Oo, penalty na rin yan, I believe. So Pampanga. Back-to-back hits. Galing kay Apolonio. Mabigat itong pangatlo na ni Capulong. Obviously, he's been an important player for us, uh, Pampanga. What about those shots by Apolonio and the response from the crowd? Right. Who has struggled, by the way, especially that first half since Apolonio after scoring 26 in their last game. Only had three in the first half. Gabriel at the line. One for two on that trip. Sarangani with a one-point lead. Five-second differential game clock and shot clock. As we near the end of the third period. Kapulong down low to Kap oh, Red Kapulong. Against Gabriel. They go to Concepcion. Bonifacio, babak sa ilalim. Apolonio. Plenty of contact, there are no whistles. Nagmamadali ang Sarangani. Estrella, binigay kay Marilao. Too strong. Marilao again. What's the call? Is there a foul? Basket. Oh, goaltending. Goaltending. They're going to review this. Yung board, tinapik yata yung board. I think based on the referee's gestures. Basket is good for Danny Marilao. Tinan natin dito. Right there. I don't think we see. We didn't see it from there. Hindi, yung na. Pero, kahit na walang tawag din, parang counted pa rin yung, ayun o, yung second opportunity. Yeah. Diba? Pero ang problema, I think there was a whistle even before the second shot. So, and this is, at least to me, the first time, you know, na nangyaring ito. No, obviously, it's something that you, you, the act itself definitely has no place in basketball. Definitely. But, kung baga sa akin dito, hate the sin, not the sinner. He was, it was just a, you know, it was a moment where in, a moment in our lives where in everything is going good for you. You're in San Juan. That's obviously an established team. You're a champion coach as an assistant. He was just in a position 
in a bad moment, in a, in a, in a bad moment, which I'm sure he regrets. I'm sure I'm, you know, he's taking the necessary action as Archie comes up short, ties the game again. A part of his uh, uh, is his counseling. He has to go through right. anger management counseling. So back to the ball game here. Meanwhile, Antoy Estrellas. Jake Gabriel forced that one, minus with the rebound. Celia giving up the foul. Para mapigilan ng pass break. Archie Concepcion looking at the clock. Yeah, terrific presence of mind. 47 all. Apolonia thought about it. Sanangani with the zone here. Nabilis ang pasahan. Nakapwesto sa ilalim. Kapulo. I like the footwork here of Kapulo. Very good fundamentals for a big man. Simple lang maglaro, you know? And uh, very rare. I don't think we've seen it yet. Uh, whether it's a bounce pass or an overhead pass or a chest pass for that matter. He really has good hands. And right here, they swing it around the horn. Kapulong realized that he was slightly open, took advantage of that with that strong move and power dribble. Makes the first one. Nice soft touch as well for Kapulo. From Panga, now on top, 48 to 47. Five to nothing run to start the fourth quarter. Balik sa laro, Reggie Boy Masibas. Pinalitan si Danny Marilao. Kapulong making life difficult. Pero eight second violation there. Great pressure. Yeah. So number 16 is Reds Kapulong. Ang isa naman, John Lawrence Kapulong. Number four, a big man. So John, isa. Just to avoid the confusion. Lumaro balik sa bench as Ivan Ludovice returns to the court. Apollonio fires. That's short. Rebound. John Gabriel. Here's Ludovice. Estrella. Jumper by Andoy. Too strong. Rebound ni Gabriel. Against Capulo. Gabriel testing the D of Capulo. And that might be the, the pang-apat yeah. pang si Capulo. And Gabriel has had a silent impact sa larong ito, especially in the second half. Uh, right there, getting the offensive rebound on a good look by Estrella. And immediately attacking the defense. Itong si Capulong to pick up his fourth. And Kit Jimenez comes right in. Just below the midway itong eight-minute mark. You can expect Kit Jimenez to play the rest of the way. As we are locked in a very tight contest. 49 to 47. John Gabriel at the line. Extended minutes for Gabriel because Gabby Espinas is not available due to suspension. It'll be interesting to me si Isidro ipapasok. Ayan, tumakbo na. Because he's done a solid job on uh, Kite Jimenez, or Kit Jimenez rather. So that's the matchup I expect. Full denials as he started the third quarter. Six points for Gabriel. Bonifacio out to Concepcion. Bonifacio's jumper. That won't work. Rebound, Antoy Estrella. To the Vise. Ahead to Kit Jimenez. Jimenez fires. That won't work. Kapulong with a rebound. Ball will stay with Sarangani. They run out of space there. Run 
under eight minutes remaining. What a game this has been, Christian. It has. And there's a matchup we talked about, Isidro guarding Jimenez. Nung last, pos last possession, it was off transition. Nagkaroon ng cross matchup. Kaya na libre ng bahag bahagya in transition si Jimenez. Pero si siguro din ni Isidro. Uh, hindi na mangyayari yun. John Carlos, is still trying to stay unbeaten dito sa season natin. Very young season. 3-0 ang uh, Sarangani. They... How's up, Pampanga? No, 1-1. 1-1, yeah? 1-0. Yeah, 1-0. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sarangani and uh, Batangas still unbeaten. Zamboanga as well. that uh, yung ating uh, sahig ay hindi ganun katulas. You know, considering yung sigaw ng crowd, buong laro, it, it feels like this game is like 75-76. Pero 49-48 lang tayo. Tama ka dyan. Here's to the Vise. Inside, Gabriel. Got that one to roll. John Gabriel, 50 to 49. Sarangani back on top. Basibas almost got the steal. Just at the right place, at the right time. Gabriel continuing to make an impact. Dito sa laro natin. Archie Concepcion. Minalika Binuya. Isidro to the other side. Isidro attacks. Out to Binuya for three. No good. Andoy Estrella nagmamadali. Minus coming in from behind. A foul whistle to Mitchell Minus. Strip po lang foul eh. Malinis yung agaw. Ang problema yung katawan. Na dislodge ng konti. Si Andoy Estrella. Coach Boni Garcia. Right. Helping out coach John Kalios. First assistant, I believe. They're looking to attack in this match on the post, but he's been on Basibas. Basibas, oh, beautiful pass. John Gabriel, he's got 10 points in the ball game. See, Gabriel. 52 to 49. The press working well. But Mapanga recovers. Basibas. Attacks. Couldn't get that one to go. Almost got his own miss. Like Agawan Sina ng Akampinya. Sikit Jimenez. So, bola. Babalik sa Pampanga. Ito mo naman to. Talagang pinakita yung bola. Ang ganda na naman ng posisyon ni Gabriel. Alam niya lang kung saan yung open spot. Eight points na yan. Six rebounds off the bench. Para sa Sarangani. Here's the 2 2 1 once again. Basho to Isidro. Balik kay Archie Concepcion. Fires a three. Yes! And we're tied once again. Six and a half minutes remaining. You know, it's good to be wrong sometimes. I was about to say, Pampanga cannot fall in love with the three. <laughs> and then Concepcion hits it at the top of the key. To the Vise. Inside. The kick out. Estrella attacks. Open si Dudo Vise from the corner. Good luck. A whistle of foul on Capulong. This was the play earlier. Archie Concepcion. Malayo siya tumira na tres, no? Hindi siya dun sa malapit sa linya, no? Medyo may separation. Monte ito si Archie Concepcion. Pangalawang three-pointer niya na yun. And a miss right here by Ivan. I don't know if he's a little hurt or fatigue. Governor Dennis Pineda still uh, part of this uh, big crowd. He's a big misses by Ivan at this point of the game. Uh, it looks like fatigue setting in. Oh, no. 
puffing and puffing. The, exo uh, the heat, uh, exhaustion of the sa. Those are three free throws. At no. Oh, wow. So, so he didn't count it, yung uh, pangalawa. Pagkat yung tira niya na to, eh. But nonetheless, may disparate. Pag pang pang apat na nga to, eh. No. Kasi, Unofficial yung isa ko sa kalit. Ayan. He stays in the game. May bando na basic. Joshua De La Cruz getting some precious minutes here. For Pampanga. Sarangani again with the press. 53 to 52. Giant Lanterns down by one. Tignan mo yung ito natitira dito sa laban natin. Kapulong on the move. Kapulong. The tap goes to Ludovice. Leaves it to Andoy Estrella. Spins. And banks it in. Andoy Estrella. Keeping it simple. And that's the experience that Andoy Estrella brings. Alam niya, medyo madulas ang sahig. He came to a two-feet stop. He knew they had an advantage on the break. Hindi pa nakababay malaki ng pampanga. He takes advantage. Jericho Isidro. Slips. Lost the handle. Recovers. Archie Concepcion. Clock running out. Para dito sa, sa pampanga, rather. Right. And this is a crucial stop para sa pampanga. Because... You can just sense that if Sarangani hits a basket here, it's going to force a timeout King Coach Jordan. Binalik na sa laro si Jason Apolonio. Ivan Ludovice also getting a breather. You know, yung, uh, both teams affected ng uh, conditions natin dito. Right. Slipping and sliding. That's just so pangkat jan lang, no? And then nothing would escalate into an injury of some sort. Players taking this opportunity to talk things out. Five minutes and 22 seconds remaining in the ball game. Now this favors Pampanga. Because if they could design a scheme, maybe a stop, or even an offensive play, pagbaba, it saves them a timeout. Sarangani on top at the moment. Looking for a fourth straight win. Oh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous, Christian. Hindi, pag nahulog naman sila, may sasalo eh. Di ba? Ubus na yung SRO eh. Look at the crowd here inside the Brent Yao Convention Center. I'd like to get an estimate. Honest, oh, I'd like to get an estimate. I here. would say five, six thousand. Yeah. But it, it's so compact. Na pag sabay sabay sila ng cheer, it really overwhelms you. Oh, no. <laughs> Parang isang daan na leon. <laughs> Back to the ball game. Here's Kip Jimenez against Apolonio. Jimenez fires. Trying to go glass there. Kip Jimenez minus now. Capulo. Let's see what they have right here. They were able to design a play in that lull. Yun lang. Pagsak si Apolonio. Binigay niya kay Maynes, saves it to De La Cruz. Kapulong beats the shot clock, but air ball. That's twice already, pretty much at the same spot. First it was Isidro, and then Apolonio taking out the quality of this game. Those are two crucial possessions that led into turnovers against Pampanga because of the conditions here.
55 to 52 and doing Australia. His experience comes in handy sa so ganito sa so sitwasyon ng no? si Andoy no, Australia. Kaya binabad na siya eh. Hindi ka tulad ng first half, halos hindi siya nakapasok ng second quarter. And maybe that's part of the strategy also of Coach Dunn to preserve him in that first knowing uh, he would need him panapos itong laro. So John Capulong binalik na sa laro. He has four fouls, the big man. Gomaro, nakatawid na ang uh, Sarangani. Denial on Kit Jimenez. It's with Andoy Australia now. Andoy, nakawala. Andoy and John John Gabriel. He's been solid. Personally, itong second half. The big man with 12 points in the ball game. Here's Capullo. Nice spin. Capullo off the glass and in. And that was actually good defense, just better offense. Hey, Capullo. Good pass by Kim. Three ball, Gomaru. Take the crowd out of the game. Realized that he has struggled of shooting the basketball. That was the same spot where he last missed the jump shot of using the glass. But this time, even though it was an open look, beautiful cross court pass by Kit to Gumaru. 355 remaining. Minus. Conception. Conception. Apollonio from the corner. Apollonio. He will keep shooting. Bagatno tres here in the second half. 57 to 60. Bagsak si Capulo. Offensive foul, Gabriel. Now that is worth another look. Sa angulo natin, wala tayo masyado nakita. But this was the three. Nice brush screen right there. Basibas late on the closeout. Didn't really have to help. Still gave a good contest. But Apolonio, just like in their last game, had that huge three to tie the ball game against Manila. Right now, Pampanga has a chance to trim this lead down. Tie the game or maybe take the lead with a four-point play. But what a quarter para kay Apolonio. Actually, the threes have been dropping for Pampanga dito sa second half. Yeah, that's because it's been available to them because of that zone. And Sarangani has had success in that zone. Getting stops and getting out from the break. That's pretty much a fast break formation. Archie Concepcion against Australia. Apolonio looking to post up here. Apolonio inside. Trying to drop it off Capulo and Gabriel. Collecting the rebound. Muna eh. oh. Here's Australia. Australia turns on the Jets. That's gonna be white ball. Ball will stay with Sarangani. Coach John Callios requests for a timeout. Three point lead with Sarangani Marlins. Okay, bet. Here on the road against Pampanga.
Your safety is our concern. So, <laughs> nasa wala na talaga maupuan dito right. sa Brentsville <laughs> Convention Center. Coach Christian. That best describes, you know, pag... Uh, Pag gusto mo, maraming paraan eh. Uh -huh. Ayaw mo, maraming ang dahilan. At na, naghanap na lang talaga ng paraan. Makanood lang ng MPPL. And, and mind you, there is a giant screen, giant LED screen outside. Outside uh -huh. the venue. And, Hindi pa nga natin napapangita yun. Uh, kanina, medyo marami rin naka, ano, dun, nanonood dun. So, we have 2 minutes and 48 seconds remaining sa laban ng Sarangani and Pampanga Sarangani with a 3 0 record. Jimenez passed up the shot last second as Gomaro fires. Basibas quickly. Wow. <laughs> that was a reset of the 14. That was a tough angle on that short corner. Importante po maso. Minus baseline. Palang inabot ni Gary Gabriel and Gabriel collects the rebound for Sarangani. And how big is John Gabriel here in this ball game? He's been huge. True to his size, his game has been big as well. This could be a basket timeout. Para sa Pampanga. Australia, three ball, too strong. Another offensive rebound by Gabriel. Final two minutes here. Australia's runner drops. There's the timeout. Sarangani finding their form late in this ball game. Estrella leaving Concepcion behind and sinking that runner to make it a seven point lead for Sarangani. We'll be right back. Babalik ang uh, Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Senator Manny Pacquiao, of course, uh, founded this league in 2018. And uh, it's grown. And, uh, and things like this happen. Definitely. But you know what I observed? At least comp compared to pre-pandemic. Dati, madalas nangyayari pag nakamera, nagtatago. Ngayon, kasi dahil may mask, okay lang kahit kumaway. Oo. Diba? Tama ka dyan. Hindi <laughs> ko makikita eh. So, Pampanga down seven. They need a basket here. Kapulong provides that. Lawrence Kapulong, Army Marata watching from Cebu. Good evening sa'yo. And that's big. Not only because they scored, but they scored quickly. Oh, Gabriel, that's off him. Tries oh, wow. to save it. I know. But I thought Gabriel had a good chance of picking up the basketball because that ball was still not close to the sideline. Nonetheless, five-point game, Pampanga with a chance. Apolonio, wow, oh wow, that's big, that's big. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> right. Doing that about the more players. <laughs> right. And Coach John Carlos is asking for a jump ball. Which he might have a case. Pero kung pumasok naman yun, may case din ang Pampanga. But still. I think, they have, to, they, have, I think they have to break the clock back to the original time. No? The original time. Coach John Carlos there, leading his case. Oh, 
Pampanga is never out of it. <laughs> 64 to 59. Ganon din sila sa ibang laro nila. Yung Manila, ganon din eh. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Manila had a really strong finish. And then, you know, Apolonio coming alive late. And uh, minus. They will reset. Minute and 30. So 90 seconds remaining. 64 to 59. Sarangani ahead, but ball in Pampanga. Minus collects. Lawrence Capulo now. Apolonio for three. Offline. Rebound. John Gabriel. What a gutsy stand here as Jimenez lost the ball. Fast break. Apolonio, open three. Yes! Big shot. Another huge three pointer. Para kay Jason Apolonio, minus. Spotting his teammate all day to shoot, and Apolonio splashes it through. And that was a costly turnover of the backcourt. Really, no reason to rush by Kit Jimenez, and it led to an open all day shot by Apolonio. Two point game. And one thing you don't like at this late stage of the game. If first Sarangani is the crowd back in it. Right. Because Kanina, with a seven point deficit, right. Menjo na wala ng love in the crowd na to. Right. Pero importante sa buhay yan si Delphi. <laughs> yung hindi ka bumibitao. My grave. You're throwing some uh, <laughs> golden Monteverde nuggets uh, wisdom dito. And you know, bina pakita ngayon ng pampanga because it felt like sabi mo nga. Itong Sarangani was in control of at least the last three minutes of this ball game, executing offensively, defensively, but not giving up. Is Pampanga, yung seven point game, one basket away na lang. A lot of time still. Teams with a foul to give. Estrella is the trigger man. Oh, great denial, five second violation. Twenty five thousand viewers on Facebook. Magandagabi po sa inyo lahat. Pero parang 26,000 dito. <laughs> what a huge, huge turnover forced by Pampanga on the inbound. Napulo. Attacks. The kick out. Concepcion knocks it down. The Lanterns are on top, 65 to 64. Gabriel inside. Gabriel is blocked. Minus with the rebound. And listen to this crowd roar. But what a turnaround. Beto in the last few seconds. The last 30 seconds of this ball game. Look at this one right there, getting in the teeth of the defense. And this time it's Concepcion to take the lead. And the defense inside the paint. Four white shirts rolling up on Gabriel. That foul though, I thought was a good foul because Sarangani still not yet in the penalty. They don't need to foul right here. 
nine second differential shot clock and game clock because their next foul talking about Sarangani would put Pampanga at the line. Kapulong to inbound. Against Dudovice. Lawrence Kapulong, 14 to shoot, gets the pick, slips, gives it up to minus, 8 seconds. Apolonio, block. Agawan sa bola, Ludovice, ahead to Kit Jimenez. Kit is fouled by Apolonio. He'll go to the line for two free throws, 8.5 seconds remaining. Even though Apolonio disagrees with the call, I thought that still favored Pampanga because with the miss, it would have been a short two points. Now, because the foul was called on Kit Jimenez, you force Kit to beat you at the line instead of giving up the layup by his teammate who was trailing. Okit Jimenez. Pressure cooker. Susubukan. Kung gano katiba yung loob ni Kit Jimenez dito sa linya. 8.5 seconds. Sarangani down by one. been 0 for 3 from the line in this game. Kit Jimenez, it's been a struggle. 3 of 18, 7 points. He does have 3 steals, 2 blocks, 3 assists, 7 rebounds, but obviously the, one of the biggest points of the game for him. Pasok ang una free throw for Kit Jimenez. As cruel as you like, tied game, 65 all. 8.5 seconds remaining. Arejo teams, that's a penalty. Two for two for Kit. Timeout, Pampanga. 66 to 65. Big free throws from Kit Jimenez. If there are questions about his heart, those were answered there. <laughs> I see his veins, definitely. Obviously, 8.5, a lot of time on the clock. They will inbound the basketball in the half court. Sarangani has one timeout. They do. And I think what's crucial here, aside from the play they will drop, is to see who will inbound the ball. Considering how the floor has been slippery, remember, Pampanga forced a five-second violation. Okay, so Pampanga did a good job of denying the basketball. And because of the floor condition, when you get denied on the basketball, the change of direction is not that effective because once you change from right to left or vice versa, chances are you're going to slip. So very important, if I'm Coach Monel Callios, I'm going to think... Coach John Coach Callis. John, rather. Coach Monel is brother. Coach John Callios, I'm going to do the same, not go up into a zone, but full denial and force Pampanga to really either go to the basketball, change direction, and maybe somebody slips, which is highly likely. It has happened numerous times already, unfortunately. But that has been the game, especially in the second half. Sino ang uh, makaka-adjust dito sa sitwasyon? But right here, crucial inbound. It's Kapulong. So it's clearly a matchup, man to man, on the out of bounds side play defensively for Sarangani. Pampanga in a box set. John Capulong, Renz Capulong, Jason Apolonio, Archie Concepcion, and Mitchell Minus, the five on the floor for Pampanga. I'm gonna 
assume this is going to be Capulong receiving the ball. Maybe a back pick from Apolonio, but he receives it on a pin down. Capulong. Apolonio for three. No. Well defended by and Basibas. I think, and I think Coach John is going to take a timeout, which is the smart play. But that was a good look, definitely, for Apolonia, considering how he has shot the ball in the fourth quarter. And this is the play right here. Slip a bit, and then Capulong spotting him once again, pero ang layo niya. Layo. Oh, and right there, contact on Basibas. No call, it was a non-call as decided. Which usually, Happens also mga ganitong part ng game. But a gutsy stand here by Sarangani. Should right. they pull this out? It's even bigger than those previous three wins nila. Christian, I'm even more impressed by this one. Right. Without Gabi Espinas on enemy territory. And with all these people here in the conditions as well. Right. This is not an easy feat to pull off. And Coach John Callos. And Doya's inbound will be very important. Right. Avoid a five second violation. There you go. Yeah. Mas maganda ng maagaw kesa ma five second violation. Definitely. But, uh, pero yung agaw dapat below their free throw line. Because this is 1.6. If it's a direct steal, at yung nakaago, may momentum papunta sa kabila, still up, half court shot, and anything can happen. So the five second violation would make it worse, which is like one of Pampanga Anina. Yeah, and here is Donald Gumaru, Sanga, and Basibas, Jimenez, Ludovice, and. Donald Gumaru, ang lima para sa Sarangani, with 1.6 seconds remaining. Sanga able to receive, and they quickly foul Paul Sanga, and the buzzer sounds at the end of this ball game. It looks they're, like they're, they're gonna put more time on the clock. But what a finish to this ball game! And it reminds me uh, a lot about the the glory days of the NBA. NBA. And see. Siempre coach Arik yun. Oh, first NBA champion dito Pampanga. The late coach Arik. Mababa sa sarmenta ka dito sa nangyari ka nito. Play na. And there's one second, I think, to ibabalik sa oras natin. Sir Seb, naalala ko dati nung ganung kaingay eh. No. Na, na, napapa-listen to this crowd roar siya. No. Kanina, parang dumadun yung buong building kanina. Hindi ko na, parang hindi ko narinig yun. Kasi, sa ingay. Boom Gonzales na inabot ko. Ay! <laughs> Nakukwento lang sa akin. Nakukwento ba sa'yo? <laughs> Grabe, ibang klase ka. <laughs> Siyempre, respetadong uh, idol natin yan, Sir Zeb. Na, 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 nilaglag pa ako. <laughs> so, five fouls and minus. And those are the times where Tito Miko Halili was still a court sign. And he be oh, yeah. became an anchor eventually. But what a time for uh, uh, House of Basketball ang uh, you know, mga tao dito sa Pampanga. We had big crowds in Angeles as well, right. diba? But iba dito eh. Iba dito. I guess it's more compressed, no? Medyo, syempre, yung crowd capacity niya not as big as yung Angeles but the roar of the crowd you just feel there it just feels like there's like 10 speakers on each angle 
That's true. And Sarangani escapes with a 68 to 65 win. Kit Jimenez with a couple of big free throws down the stretch. 8.5 seconds remaining. And that was just right after 